Alright, so now that we're here in Doofer Town, there's one thing we can um, do here quickly. We talk to this guy, now that we have Surf. And uh, he'll just start talking about Sludge Bomb and he'll actually give us the TM. Yep. TM36 Sludge Bomb is just great. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna teach it to Swalot real quick. Cause Swalot doesn't learn it until like, I think level 46, 48, something like that. I actually checked. Yeah, and uh, none of my other Pokemon can learn it. So yeah, just great. Get rid of Sludge and now we got Sludge Bomb, baby. All right, we got a really powerful, um, we got a really powerful, uh, poison type attack. Yep. Um, well, I've actually been showing the roots here in this episode, so now it's time to go to the abandoned ship. Now, um, there isn't that much to do here in the abandoned ship. I mean, we can take on a couple of trainers, plus we can actually get a really important item, but yeah, that's it, I mean, we're gonna have to return, I'm just gonna show it like, uh, I'm just gonna be showing the, the parts that you can actually go through, it's got incredibly depressing music though, uh, okay, that's empty, I'm gonna have a double battle here, okay, um, Switching out Shedinja and let's do the earthquake combo. Alright. What on earth would you compel would compel you to come here? You must be curious. Uh, wow, I've been found, huh? Yup. Beauty and youngster, alright. Crap, I gotta take out that Wilmer. Man, that Wilmer just rolled out on my Shedinja. Crap. Um, yeah. Uh, come on. Do a lot. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, I got Wonder Guard. Yes. Alright, Shedinja can knock it out. Yeah, alright. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Man, that, that Wilmer was so annoying. I mean, as you've seen in the sped up part, they just they just played around with me. I just can't believe they, they just land that much damage on me. I can't believe it. I mean, they even managed to KO Shedinja with, like, Super Sonic. It was just, like, a joke. I should They should probably make, like, a mashup video of Shedinja just getting KO'd all the time. Oh my god. Come on, don't let that affect you, Shedinja. Yes! You heard me. Cool, you leveled up. Alright, yes! That's sure enough to knock you out, Electrike. Yeah, none of these Pokemon are really too tough. Just, you know, having Shedinja is quite a bit of a problem if they do land any super effective hits on you. Because that just surpasses the ability and the whole objective of why Shedinja was created. Okay, now that we're actually here... Yeah, I'm actually really tough. Yeah, that's why you're registering me. Okay, these guys just... If they don't battle you, they just say useless crap. Okay, what can we find here? Harbor mail, I don't care. You know, I'm actually happy that I didn't found it. I didn't get to keep it in my bag. Okay, let's take on this sailor. How about a quick battle? Yep. Yeah, just flexing your muscles there. I always found that pretty funny. Come on. Do a hell load of damage. Hey, that was good. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> it just made me, like, automatically be hitting it with that. Thanks a lot, Spiel. This, this is, like, the best thing they could ever do to me. Um, yeah, I know what he's gonna be doing. I totally know what you're gonna be doing. But let's...
to just see. Yep. Now he's gonna be either hitting me with some kind of attack that will just do like a hell load of damage on me. Well, everything does a hell load of damage on Shedinja. It's got like one HP. No, he literally has one HP. It's very funny because when it levels up, it's like HP plus zero. You try to use an HP up on it, it's like, no, it won't have any effect. <laughs> uh, it just makes me laugh. Shedinja and it's one HP. And uh, both of our Pokemon are pretty, pretty close to evolving now. Cool, we found a dive ball. It's gonna be a long time until we find another one of those. They're actually for catching Pokemon we're using a special move here in this game called Dive. But you can't, um... Yeah, it's a ship, yeah. But you can't, um, use it yet. Uh, see that area on the right? Um, yeah, that's a dive zone, and we, we, we can't do it yet. I mean, we can't, uh, this dark patch of water, we just can't go, we have to go underneath it, but we don't have the HM. See, we can't do anything about it. Alright, so, what's in here? Ew, ew, that's just gross. Okay, let's get the heck out of there. Um, one last thing that we can actually find. Yep, this guy. Alright, this, the tuber. Charlie. And his Meryl. It would be really fun to do something. Uh, let's just check real quick. Oh! Wow! Um, yep, yeah, it's gonna be doing something fun, um, you'll see in like two or three minutes once I just totally own this guy. Fury Swipes, come on. Wow, thank you, Ninjas, thank you. That just hit like five times, and the recording that was just sped up like before, it, it only hit like twice. I can't believe it. Now you're actually hitting five times. Thank you. Okay, I spoke too soon and missed. Ouch. Don't get KO'd. Ow. Okay. I'm on the verge of like being defeated. Come on. Come on. Once more. Yes. Yes, you rule, Ninjask. Alright. That is ballsy. Yeah, you rule, Ninja Ask. Alright. Yep, I overwhelmed you with my skill and ability. Didn't I? Now I'm just gonna do something really fun here. Um, it's gonna be very interesting. Cool, revive. Alright, I needed that, actually. Yep. So... I'm gonna be taking on these guys in a double battle. Strength and compassion, those are our trainer's treasures. I'm not good at swimming, but I'm good at battles. Okay, let's just see it when I just humiliate you in a Pokemon battle. One of you, yep. A ruined maniac. Uh, oh, why didn't I see it coming? A sand flash and a mirror, alright. Pushovers. Definitely just pushovers. Um. Yeah, this abandoned ship is just like really cool, I have to admit. Um, I remember actually watching the episode in the anime. It was like a, like a fucking swamper came out and it was like... It was like totally mad and stuff. I remember. I got to know Swamper back then, I mean, it, it was like... You know, it was the beginning of the anime actually. Yep. And I just saw Swamper there and I was like, whoa, what's that thing? Yeah, Spoink leveled up, and Barboach leveled up. So, what's fun here is that we took on in a double battle, and what's gonna happen now is just gonna be like really cool. After a minute, it's pretty creative. Ah, uh, there is something about you that sparkles. Oops, that didn't go very well. No, it didn't, didn't it? Oh my god! Spoink is evolving, oh my god! 
Yes. <sighs> All right. <sighs> All right. Cool. It evolved into Grumpig. And also Barboach is evolving. Man, a double evolution. Yep, it evolved into Whiskash, alright. Now I'm just gonna be using my two. My two ninja bugs, yep. And the final battle I'm gonna be facing here. <laughs> Alright, just really cool. Okay, who am I using this protein on? Uh, Ninja S, yep. And this iron. Uh, I think I'm going with Ninja S2, yep. Now remember Shedinja's defenses don't matter. If it gets hit with a move, it's just like, yep. Um, yeah, it's just, if it gets hit with a super effective move, it's knocked out, so really, uh, just spending, you know, those, th money on those for Shedinja's is useless, okay? Um, yeah, they got Evil Mize and Bulby, and I just got my own creative bug duo, pretty cool. Yep. Alright, I paralyzed it. Cool. So, I guess I'm gonna switch, um, switch targets now. Come on. Come on, hit five times. One. Alright, come on. Aw, oh, crap. I need one more. I need one more. Yeah, it's gonna do a lot. Oh, really? Are you kidding me? Are you honestly serious? Uh, all right, crap. Okay, thanks. They so just keep spamming secret power. Oh, but it will be okay. That was that wasn't that bad. Okay, now I understand. Crab, his wish came true, and it regained all its HP back, or almost all of it. Okay, now we can just annihilate Ilmise. Yes, you snap out of confusion. Yeah, all right. I don't care how many times you hit. That was good. That was good. I don't care. You just snapped out of confusion. That was just great. Uh, really ballsy after like on the second turn that just had to be really good and on the previous turn you had a hit you know you missed so really ninja S, that was really good I have to say you're really proving yourself to me all right Mize is down and we just defeated these guys a ridiculous couple of trainers they're just making those weird faces Sure, we can have a threesome together. And we talk to this guy. I'm investigating the ship on behalf of Captain Stern. He also asked me to find a scanner, but I haven't had any success. Yeah, pretty cool that we can run around here. Alright, we found the storage key, and now it's time to find the most important item here in the abandoned ship. At least uh, for this part, now that we don't, we can't uh, dive. No, I didn't mean to go up. Can't go in, so we inserted the key. Stuck fast, but it opened. Yeah, I never got that. Okay. And we can find TM13 Ice Beam. Incredible move. We could have actually bought it from Mavo, but we're just not, you know, we're not Donald Trump, you know. We can't just buy all the time our stuff. We have to, you know, work for it. Well, I guess he also worked for it, but, you know, you get what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'll meet you guys back at Mavo, and we can do finally that thing that. Uh, Watson asked us. See you guys back there. 
So we return here to Marvel. We're talking to Watson. Don't you worry about it. It won't be a challenge to you. The entrance to New Marvel is just a short surf away from Route 110. That's it. Then you have my trust. Whoa. Oh wait, did I actually talk to him? I don't remember. I don't know. He just gives us this key. I don't care about it, but yeah, it's not very important what we have to do. Um, just a quick description of what we're gonna be up against. Okay, just get out of that. Like I said, a quick description of what we're gonna be seeing. Ah, this very creepy music. Alright, the door is locked, so I just open this weird door and I go in here. That was pretty weird, how the way I just entered in there. Okay, whatever. It's a very kind of creepy place. It's kind of like the power plant from Kanto, remember? Yeah, it's kind of like that. Okay, so, um, really, what it's got is just these creepy ass, um, music and a, couple, a lot of Pokemon that just annoy the hell out of you. Luckily, that one didn't, but, yep. Yeah. Uh, the power plant contains, uh, quite a lot of Pokemon, uh, including this first one that we're gonna be running into, which takes the form of a Pokeball. Voltor, yep, the classic bomb ball Pokemon from Kanto. I can't escape, seriously? Yeah, whatever. Voltorb is uh, really good, it's really fast, it's got pretty good stats, uh, can really shock any flying or water type Pokemon that at least shows a weakness to it. Um, you know, it explodes and it just annihilates everything. Yep. Uh, also, we can find Magnemite here. Magnemite is also a classic Pokemon from the Kanto region. Find an Ultra Ball there, just help us catch it. Now, if you guys really need an electric type, because I swear you guys are gonna have to be using um, an electric type for the next gym we're gonna be up against, so I highly recommend that you guys actually capture an electric type Pokemon, because really that's what you're gonna be needing. Okay. One of these is going to be a uh, Bolt Orb, you have this one right here. So I highly recommend that you catch one of these Pokemon here. Uh, you can also find Magnemites of all four Magneton, but, um, you know, I, I recommend Bolt Orb more. Mainly because it's like, you know, it's faster, so that's why I'd recommend it. Here we can also find Another Voltorb. Sadly, we can't find an Electro here. Yeah, but it's just really close to evolving. It's at level 25, so if you level it up only 5 levels, it will, you know, it will level up and evolve. 5 levels, okay? So that's pretty good. And also no Spark, which can deal a hell of a load of damage to a flying type. Uh, so really, I'd recommend to catch it. Um, there are also some pretty good electric types, but Boltorb is really the best here to be using. And here is the generator that's radiating a heat that can be felt even at a distance. It looked like it should be turned off as soon as possible. So we have to step on that particular switch. And we find a Thunderstone here, but the Thunderstone is just useless we can't, because we can't catch Pikachu yet, and we can't use Eevee in this game, so only for Pikachu, and Pikachu's like pretty long. Uh, distance from being able to be caught. And we stepped on the switch. Click. And the generator appears to have stopped. Oh, cool. Okay. Let's just... I'll just be walking until my repels wear off. And then I'll just use dig. I'll just be lazy like that. Yup, dig. Yup. We're escaping from here, just really quick. Uh, this new Marvel place is just... You know, it was that. Only that, okay? We can find those electric types, a pretty good place. If you want to train, actually, if you... For example, if you have a... 
ground type Pokemon, you can really use it to train here. Uh, especially, I could have used Barboach actually to train here. And now we talk to Watson. Whoa! I knew it, Martin. I knew you'd made the right. I made the right choice asking you. This is my thanks. A TM containing Thunderbolt. Go on, you earn it. Cool. The only gym leader that gives us two TMs. <laughs> it pleases me to no end to see a young step up and take charge. And okay, we've done that. So in the next episode, we're gonna be heading towards Fortree City, which is where the next gym lies. I'll see you guys. Martin Potter 90 out.